Hi, my name is Carrie Crawford and I'm an Associate Professor of Political Science at James Madison University in Harrisonburg, Virginia. My 2017 book on conflict-related sexual violence demonstrates that states and security-focused agencies are more likely to recognize sexual violence and condemn it when they view it as a weapon of war. So key global actors often neglect the cases that don't fit that frame, survivors don't always get access to the resources they need, and perpetrators don't always face the accountability that they should. The big question I'm researching now is what specific practices, norms, or policies effectively prevent conflict-related sexual violence? What changes the battlefield calculations of armed actors or civilians caught up in the breakdown of the rule of law? The whole of my research on conflict-related sexual violence specifically, and human security more broadly, suggests that it's imperative for policymakers to prioritize the long-term efforts to prevent atrocities, as moving beyond a responsive stance to a preventive one is more cost-effective and more conducive to peace, stability, and security. I don't mean to suggest that this is easy, but the most important efforts seldom are.